What's going on, Phantom Army? It's your boy, Phantom Stilts, and welcome back once again to a brand new unboxing video on the channel. So today we're taking a look at something that I just picked up from Costco. It is the Hero 8 Black Edition of the GoPro. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with GoPro, um, it's pretty much the most uh, premier camera you can buy for any kind of outdoor activities, water activities. Um, it is a very, very well-respected company in the field of electronics. Um, and today I'm just going to sort of show you guys what's in the box and uh, go through a little bit of um, what it's capable of and everything like that. So first off, uh, I was gonna read you some of the features and stuff that it has on the actual device, and then we'll get into the unboxing and everything that it comes with so you guys can see uh, exactly what you're buying and purchasing at a local retailer, such as like Costco where I got mine, or maybe even Radio Shack, places like that, Best Buy. Um, so it has a 12 megapixel camera. Uh, it has a 4K 60 frames per second, 1080p for um, 240 frames per second camera. It has an eight times slow-mo, so you're able to show slow it down to eight times of its normal uh, frame rate. Uh, it's hyper smooth 2.0. So it basically has an anti-shock resistance uh, camera in it. So um, it's obviously some kind of patented technology where um, as you're biking or boating or anything like that, any kind of outdoor activity where there's a lot of friction and a lot of, um, a lot of movement, uh, it will try its best to keep the picture as smooth as possible. It also has a time warp 2.0, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, um, but I'm sure it'll tell us somewhere in the manual uh, when you do pick it up. Um, you're also able to live stream. Now it's not live stream 4k quality, but it is 1080p, which is still pretty good quality. Um, if you don't have a 4k TV or anything capable of capturing a 4k picture, uh, 1080p is still, uh, sort of the industry standard for everything that, um, needs to be seen on the GoPro, um, live burst, which I'm assuming is sort of like a burst of, um, picture quality. So like, uh, if you're just going to take a singlet picture, uh, this is able to sort of rapid fire and uh, shoot pictures off probably in 10 to 15 um, frames or something like that. So you can capture uh, movement if you're not in the right space to take a picture. It has um, super photo or high dynamic range. So basically high dynamic range is the picture quality uh, that it allows you to uh, access. And it's going to show you all of the uh, best color range that it possibly can. It uh, looks like it has some kind of voice activation to it as well as um, a touch screen and then GPS. And like I said before, um, or maybe I didn't mention it, um, it has a 12 megapixel camera. It's 4K uh, 60 frames per second uh, native. When you're live streaming, it's only 1080p. And then um, it's up to uh, 33 feet of water. It is effective and will not uh, shut off on you or break or, um, or any of the housing or anything like that, electrical wires, anything like that. And the inside will not be uh, affected unless you're below that threshold of water. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the box and see exactly what we got here. So it actually comes in a really, really nice uh, breathable case. It's um, basically mesh fabric. Um, I was expecting it to be maybe a leather case, uh, but it is, as you guys can see, there's the GoPro logo right there on the front. Uh, so let's open up the box and actually see, I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you guys can actually see uh, what I'm doing. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open the box here. And um, so right off the bat, we have uh, the unit itself. So this is, go ahead and take it out of the plastic for you guys. Um, this is the actual GoPro itself. This is the actual unit. Um, so you take this out of the packaging here. So it's not very big. Um, it actually has a touch screen on the back. So there's your 4K lens right there. And then it also has, um, I'm assuming some kind of viewfinder or view meter. Uh, that tells you about the battery life, such as um, such as things like that, the battery life, um, what frames, uh, possibly what frames uh, you're shooting in, uh, the picture quality. There's obviously the, probably the power button or the shutter button up here on the top. And then we have sort of a uh, touch screen in the back that probably allows you to um, take pictures or maybe go, go into video mode, switch modes, uh, things like that. Um, and then it looks like there's something on the side here. I'm not really sure what that is, but we'll get into that in a second. So that's, that's the actual unit itself. And then we'll get into the extremities of the box or the, actually the peripherals rather. Um, this looks like some kind of tripod or something that you may be able to mount it to. Um, looks like it probably goes in the bottom of the unit, uh, somewhere. Don't see exactly where, but, um, this is probably your USB cable, probably either for charging or um, 
actually uploading stuff to your CP or your CPU or your computer itself. So that's like the micro USB cable that connects to the GoPro and then it connects to your computer. So we have those two things there. And then getting into further into the box, it looks like we have some kind of like adhesive mount um, that you could probably put to a helmet or uh, mount it on some kind of housing uh, so you can have it stagnant rather than uh, moving it around and things like that. We have that. And then looks like this would be one of the batteries, um, one of the lithium batteries that you would use. So it looks like it comes with two of these. So you have two lithium batteries, one obviously that you can charge uh, your leisure and then one obviously inside the device. That's probably, actually, that's probably what this housing is right here. That's probably where the battery goes is right in that little slot there. So we have that. This looks like, not sure what this is actually. It looks like some kind of, uh, it's obviously Velcroed, so maybe that's something to like maybe tie to your wrist or something like that. So we have that. And then this is, looks like another housing maybe for it to move um, laterally or up and down. So uh, there's that. So that looks just like another housing that you could use uh, if you were going to put it to a bike helmet or anything like that when you're riding or doing any kind of your outdoor activities. And then last but not least, it looks like this is the tripod or like the um, stand that you can mount it on. So if like you were just using it with your hands instead of mounting it to a, a surface or a helmet or something like that, this should be like the, uh, the uh, hand uh, grip or uh, hand stand that you would mount it to so you can just sort of use it like a camera. We have that too. And it looks like we've got a little bit more um, in the way of accessories in this little pouch here. So... We open this up and see what is on the inside of it here. So this looks like all of our literature. Um, so it looks like GoPro Plus unlimited cloud storage for your GoPro footage, damaged camera replacement, no questions asked. So it looks like they'll give you a brand new camera within reason. Um, so let's see. Uh, looks like they'll just replace it for free. You just look. Looks like you probably have to register it and go online and. Uh, they'll probably send you a brand new GoPro um, with all of the accessories that we have here. They might just send you a brand new unit and let you keep the accessories. I'm not sure. Um, so it looks like there is a GoPro app as well. Uh, this sort of shows you. So yeah, so if you look at this literature card here, so it looks like it gives you instructions that there's a GoPro app that you can actually use. So if you want it hands-free away from the unit itself and just use your phone to control it, there's an option for that. Uh, it looks like it shows you how to put like the tripod and the mounts on. Uh, there's also instructions for the battery. Um, as you guys can see right there, uh, that's how you put the battery in. So that little slot on the side here, which is uh, right here, um, that is where you put the lithium battery in. And then if you have questions or anything like that, you can chat, chat with their experts at gopro.com uh, slash answers. And there's no, to, no need to return to your store if you had any questions. Sure, they have some kind of live live chat system that you're able to uh, access there. And then the last two pieces of information we have, guys, is obviously the GoPro stickers that you get um, if you wanted to put this on a bike helmet or possibly even your bike. Uh, just two decals uh, that the actual uh, GoPro comes with. That's pretty standard for electronics. They like to give them a little product placement for you. Um, and then last but not least, we have the all important uh, safety instructions and important product information inside the actual manual to make the device work. So. Um, you can also visit uh, gopro.com uh, if you had any f further questions or need more information. But that is pretty much uh, the GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition, guys. Um, like I said, I think it's the most uh, recent release from GoPro. Um, so if you guys had any questions, um, I'm actually going to take it out uh, in the field, so to speak, quote unquote. And I'll come up and wrap up the video after we've tried it out. Uh, and after uh, we've experienced the picture quality and everything and how it works. So what's up guys? So I told you that I would give you a little bit of a demo on what the GoPro uh, Hero 8 Black Edition video and microphone actually sounds like. So I did a little bit of a test uh, test video and uh, I'm actually really impressed with the uh, microphone as well as the video quality. As you guys can see, I'm actually recording on the GoPro right now. Um, I'm actually using that handle that I showed you guys in the video. So as you guys can hear, the uh the mic the internal mic for the gopro was actually really really stellar uh, i was really impressed with the audio quality um usually with stuff like this 
you don't have great audio quality when it comes to a handheld camera, but this was like, I think it was like right around 250 bucks, almost $300. Um, so the quality for it is really, really good. Um, so you guys can probably tell that the audio quality is really, really good, as well as the video quality is really good. And even when I'm moving around, shaking the camera, um, it's probably really, really uh, clear, even though um, I'm moving around and shaking the camera and stuff like that. So. But as you guys can see, the video quality is absolutely stellar. I'm just giving you like a little bit of a panoramic view. Um, also the, uh, the GoPro's um, camera angle or camera view, the uh, POV is actually really, really wide. I was really impressed uh, with how big or how much you're able to capture in one frame. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. I would really appreciate that. We're almost to 550 subs on the channel. I would really appreciate it if you guys would come and join me on this journey through YouTube and social media and content creation. Uh, we'll be making a lot more videos uh, as we pump up the channel here since we're getting more subscribers and more viewer base and things like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, guys.